A Knife in the Dark. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SDF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And today we have episode number 174 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign. It is from the Forge World website, A Knife in the Dark. So if you go on the Forge World website and click on a weather top, the scenery piece, you will find in the download section a wonderful small scenario released a couple of years ago now. It says copyright 2016. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, and and they basically uh, in this scenario we have the scenario um, epic scenario from the movie and books mm. but you also have rules for playing with the scenery piece in your regular games so it kind mm. of since there's not that much space between the pillars it explains what you can do with movement and, uh, and other stuff as well and it allows you to re-roll uh, roll two dice for priority if you control the weather top scenery piece. Yeah. Because there is, of course, or was a parameter in there at one point. Um, so, this scenario has been um, available, I believe, at least a dozen different iterations of this scenario through the ages. Um, we are going to be playing two of them. So, first one, this one, and the next one is uh, a game played on a bigger board. Mm. So instead of just Aragorn suddenly arriving, such as this one, uh, in the third turn, the other one has him available on the board at once. But he races towards um, towards the the middle, as mm -hmm. does the ring rates. So there's a bit more, uh, a bit more than just everyone being in an enclosed space, twelve inches circumference. Sure. Um, but I'm very very anxious to play this one. I think um, after completing Weathertop, this was one of the scenery um, scenarios I was looking the most out for mm. to play. Um, so I'm after Gandalf just took out all the ring rates, I'm, I'm not too uh, confident. But we'll see. These guys are a lot smaller than Gandalf. The Hobbits? Yeah. But there are four of them. And yeah. we've, we've seen the hobbits take That's out true. ring rates before, That's true. That's true. Uh, and they have Aragorn, and, well, yeah. and my ring rates can only move three inches. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we'll, um, see. we'll see. Enough talk. Let's uh, get to the game and let's just uh, just see how well my ring rates will fare against the hobbits and the ranger after this. The ancient tower of Amun Sul lies upon the soaring peak of Weathertop Hill, a tumble-down ruin that even in its broken state offers a commanding view of the downs that surround it. It is here that the enigmatic strider brings the four hobbit travellers as they flee the town of Bree, and the Nazgul which almost ambushed them there. While strider is tough and hardy, well used to a life in the wilds, the hobbits are gentler creatures, and thus he leaves them to rest a while, nestled in a nook on the hillside while he scouts out the area. Merry, Pippin and Sam throw caution to the wind and raise a small fire, all the better for cooking tomatoes, sausages and some nice crispy bacon. But a midnight feast is shortly the least of their worries, for though their intentions were simply to provide a hearty meal, the glimmer of firelight has revealed their camp to the Nazgul, whose piercing cries now fill the night. Horrified at their carelessness, Frodo Baggins chastened his companions, and together they retreat to the dubious safety of Amun Sul's ruined watchtower, where a deadly duel breaks out. 
Alone the hobbits are surely doomed, for the Witch King has arrived, and by the point of his morgul blade he will enact his master's will. But help is at hand, for Strider has heard the shriek of the ring rates, and he is now rushing to the aid of the hobbits. And so begins the battle. The hobbits mass in the middle of the ruined watchtower of Amon Sul, also called Weathertop. Very sour because they didn't have their dinner of uh, eggs, sausages, bacon and tomatoes. And all around them now, the dark Nazgul have amassed. So there's one here, one here, one here, one there and the Witch King himself behind there. So the uh, the scenario is uh, from the Forge Old website. It is A Knife in the Dark, which is the most recent uh, one of the all the Weathertop scenarios. We are going to play one alternate scenario where all participants start on the board simultaneously, but it's a bigger board. So, um, so we'll, we'll do two versions of Amon Sul. Um, but yeah, Evil also starts with priority for the first turn, which is very, very abnormal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, even though I will, even though I compel one of the hobbits, I won't be able to get into combat first turn because all my Nazgul only move three inches. And Aragorn, at the end of the third turn, he'll arrive on the board. So, uh, so yeah, uh, at the end of the good move phase, yeah. Placing touching the board. So he'll, he'll be able to wreak havoc, especially with his flaming brand. Good luck, Wild. Good luck, Andreas. So let's see if we can do this. So my ring rates will move a bit forwards, I think. I think I have to. So this one moves to there and will compel Sam forward using two dice. Yes. So Sam has two will. Do you want to uh, resist? Oh, successful on four. I'll spend one. It is resisted. Yes. So the second ring moves forward to there. Not the best scenery piece to place models on. And he will also try to compel Sam forwards using one dice for them. No. This one moves to there. And we'll use one die to compel Mary. Yes, and he doesn't have any will. So he'll be compelled two inches forward. So I can charge him next turn, and you can't stoop for stone. This one moves around. It's very hard to get these placed. Metal models. There we go. Um, try to get uh, Pippin forwards. No. And lastly, the Witch King moves up. Yeah, get him there. That's fine. And no, he'll he'll do nothing. Well, he's got he's got ten will, so we'll use two to uh, get uh, Pippin forwards. Yes. So I'll pip into there. Mm -hmm. Then your um, your uh, movement phase. Yeah. So they are unable to move. Yeah, they yeah. count as being uh, transfixed for the remainder of the turn. Yeah. So the two other guys will just um, stoop for stone. Mm-hmm. That goes over to the shooting phase, so you can toss some stones after ring rates. So, Frodo at him. Yeah. 
Miss. And Sam and Herm. Miss. Miss. Sam does have my though, if you want well, to. No. 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 Um, priority. Yes, indeed. Goes to good. So, will you be able to charge? No. So, if you move back to the position you were in, I won't be able to charge you because of the way the game is deployed and the outer ring is more than six inches from the center. Good. Mm -hmm. So, we're back in. Yeah. So, he's used two and he's used two. The remainder has used one each. Mm -hmm. So, this one will uh, compel Sam and fails, so he's also used two now. Um, and then he'll just move forwards to there. Then this one will compel Sam forwards using one dice. Cast on six. I will not resist. Okay, so I'll compel him to charge me there. Oh, you can compel to charge? Yes. Mm, nice. And then I'll just move to there with him. And then he will charge Sam. Uh, so all of these guys have used two each now. Mm -hmm. And then the Witch King. How will, many did they have? Start with? Uh, seven for the normal ones. Mm -hmm. So the Witch King will compel Pippin. Nope. So he's got seven remaining. I'll just stand here. And then this guy, he will use one dice on Pippin. Yep. And move him to charge the Witch King and go into base contact there. So yeah, that is my turn. Did you stoop for stone with uh, mm -hmm. Frodo, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Frodo and Sam did. Mm. And Frodo doesn't have line of sight to a ring wraith, not mm. in combat. Mm -hmm. mm. So combats we'll do against uh, Pippin first. Both Witch King and a wraith. I win that one because you don't have any might. So just push back. And then needing a 4 plus to wound. One wound on Pippin. He's got one fate though. And he passes fate. On Sam, he's got one attack. Ooh, double sixes. And then needing force to wound. One wound. Sam's got two fate. Passes. So, these rates are down to four. The Witch King is down to six. And this one is down to four as well. Yeah. And he's down to three. Three, uh, no, yeah, mm. it's down with three. Down with three. So all of these guys are down with three, including these are down with four. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm. because of the fight. Mm. So not a whole lot left. But now uh, at the end of your movement phase in this turn, Aragorn enters the fray as well, and I lose priority. Mm -hmm, damn it. So you have three inch movement? Yes. So I could. Minimize. Mm -hmm. Does it matter which one? So Frodo needs to survive, I assume? Frodo needs to survive, yeah. My objective is to uh, kill Frodo. And if Frodo suffers a wound, uh, the best result you can get is a draw. Yeah. So Aragorn can charge? Aragorn cannot charge, no. He cannot he, charge? No. So where do you want him? Um, He's just placed on the outer ring. Okay. Um, place him here. There. So he's, he enters the fray from here. Does he need to climb to get up there? No, no, no. no. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I'd want him to be like where he can see. Yeah, but I, I can't get him to stand okay. there. 
but stand him on top and subtract one yeah, inch yeah. from the next. So you can look cool coming yep. in. Okay, so three inches, that should not him, not him. So Witch King charges Mary. Try to do the most damage before Aragorn gets in. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and Frodo uh, Frodo stooped for a stone. I uh, didn't stoop no, for a stone because he moved. He moved. Uh, I could, let's see, five inches. I could try. This ring wraith will compel Frodo with two dice. That means he's got two left after this. Oh, good. Damn it. No, he's, yeah, two left after this. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, and I'll just move to there. This one will move to there. Yeah. Sam? Yes. I win. Uh, Sam is not trapped, I think. Can get to there. Um, needing to wound him. Nope. No wound. Uh, Pippin. Mm -hmm. Pippin has lower fight value, sadly. So he's pushed back. Um, Pippin has not used his fate. It was Mary that used his fate, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But I didn't wound him. Oh, damn it. Mary. Yeah. I win on fight. And no wound. Damn it. I would have taken up Mary if he... The brave, brave hobbits. Mm-hmm. So now Aragorn is in the fray. So mm -hmm. And he has a free might. Free might point every single turn. So I need to use that for yeah. points. point. And take a Courage Test to charge. Because um, you can get into both of these guys. Yeah. So Courage Test to charge. He's fine. Charging these two. Guys, over there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of tempted to try to charge with the other guys as well. Just because... Well, I don't know why, but... Sacrificed them or something. Mm. So he's got two, three. He's two. got two left now. Pippin? Yeah. Pippin. Mm. Ooh. Um, he doesn't Probably have any not. will. I think that is a failure. Mm. I think he's only got four. Let's see, because of the minus one. He's got four, so that's a failure, sadly. Sad. Sound just gets up there. So there. Yeah. Then Frodo goes up the stairs, legging it. Oh, I'm blocking the hole. Mmm. That's a couple shots. Yeah. Alright, sorry. get for next turn so he'll go there he's got oh I can one he'll one dice transfix Aragorn damn it one left one left and these guys have three left right yeah three or two I think it's three yeah but two after this two after this and then which king should have Six left, and this guy has four left. Yeah, and he'll on the way, and he'll transfix Aragorn using one dice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nope. Uh, it was my priority, so I want to start off with Pepin, unless you want to. No. Just kill no? Pepin. Mm hmm. So, which king and another setting the bar on a three. You can win this one. You do, you do. So, which king has five left? This guy uh, used one, so he's got two left. So, they both have the same defense? Yeah. So, the witch king? No, six is by five, so you need. And then Aragorn. So, I'll set the bar because you have the higher fight. Four. And six. 
So this ring wraith can't move anywhere. So I can flaming brand him. You can decide to use the flaming brand. That's only one strike though. So I can get one strike on one of them. No, you can do the flaming brand instead of normal strikes. So you need sixes to wound normally. And with the flaming brand you would need fours. But I can only strike once with the flaming once brand. Once on one guy. Um, so I'll and you he's can't might flaming band either. So I'll uh, strike normally on the one that's trapped. Yeah. And I'll might that. Yeah, so you got two might left. So that's one ring wraith down. And I'll use the the other two attacks on mm -hmm. the last one. Yeah. Ooh. Two ring rates, one turn. Things are looking up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh no. So he had one right left? Yeah. Cool. Priority. Will at least, yeah. Or one will, yeah. So it goes to you because I had it last. Yes. So Pippin. Uh-huh. I'll try to charge. Yeah. Hmm. And then Aragorn into the other yeah, two. And then I'll charge Aragorn. Yeah. Yep. Not going well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Fights. Fights, Pippin. Let's go with Pippin. Getting a three. I win. Can I kill him on my way out? Four plus. No. And he goes. Aragorn. Oh, oh I only have. fives. Yeah. But it's enough. And I will. Uh, Witch King. No. Which king? No. Oh, which king? No. That's three threes. Three threes. Uh, so this guy has one will left. Yeah, and which king has four will left. Mm. I believe. Priority. Mm. Yeah. Goes to evil. Well, three might from. Her yeah. Move. There I go. Mm hmm. Charging. Yep. Both of them. Yep. And uh, I guess uh, that's well. I could. I should hide the hobbits. He's yelling, "Flee! Run, you fools!" Oh, uh, I think that's Gandalf's line. Right. <laughs> They're yelling, "Script!" To see who's. <laughs> it was Aragorn's first. Oh, well, Viggo Mortensen's first scene in the yeah. movie, so he he might just have read the wrong part. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Setting the bar on a three. Damn it. Do you want to use the flaming brand since he's going poof now? Yes. You can use the flaming brand on the witch king. Flaming brand on the witch king. Yeah. Four plus. Boom. And they are gone. I didn't even get to take a single hobbit out. That is very, very disappointing. I can live with that. Yeah, but good, good place. So yeah. um, we'll. Um, thanks for the game. Thanks, thanks for the game. Uh, we'll come back with our thoughts on this one in the post-battle battery breakdown. Welcome back to the post-battle battery breakdown, and um, yeah, yeah, that was a cool scenario. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. I think I should have bit been a bit more sparing on my uh, on my. Uh, will point usage yeah, or you could draw well only two of them popped to uh to will point failure though because you took the flame and brand to one and then you took out two in combat with yeah. Aragorn. yeah it's true mm. yeah still and but if you had been able to get those transfixes in mm. i was extremely unlucky i think you you rolled quite bad yeah <laughs> um a couple of those rolls yeah so I think that also might mm. have something to do with it. Um, but it is yeah. fun to play on the detail level of a scenery piece yeah. in this one. And I think we've we've talked about this before, but one of the things we want to do, for those of you who haven't been watching this from the start, is that when we finish the campaign, 
mm. I'm going to do it once more. Yeah. Uh, switching sides, so while we'll be evil, mm. I will be good. And instead of just like hankering to paint every single miniature we need or borrow every single miniature we need, we'll have more time to do more thematic scenery. Like for, the one we did now. Like the one we did now. So um, so obviously we had Brie, which was very, very nice yeah. um, a couple of weeks ago, and now um, now this one. So we'll be able to to kind of produce more scenery pieces without having the, the time going into just painting the models. Mm. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking very much forward to playing all the good scenarios we've been playing mm -hmm. again, and we'll also like not play all the scenarios yeah. like ambush of Amon Hen, uh, ambush on the way to the weather top. Oh. Uh, I don't think we'll include that in the second uh, second iteration of, no, of the campaign probably not. to make it a bit more compressed. Yeah, but but yeah, I I enjoy this one. So, yeah, I liked it. Um, uh, so next week we'll have the other version. I'm uh, mm -hmm. not sure where that's published at the moment. Um, White Wolf. In a White Wolf. Yeah. Um, I think it's White Wolf around the release of War of the Ring. Maybe. I'm not completely sure. But but yeah, look out for that one next week. Uh, until then, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking. A while. And uh, please comment, like, share and subscribe. Please consider supporting us on Patreon using the links in the description below. It's a great way for you to support what we do here at the studio. Uh, and it means a lot to us. So thank you to all our past, present and future Patreons. And as always, support your hobby.